Ooh, Ooh. please roll. Yay, yeah, parkour so roll. Realistic. It's funny, because as soon as you add a roll in and a slide, all of it gets more realistic. Oh, that was sick. Uh, that was a, a new addition from the previous game that I don't think we saw. The dropkick has made it from Dying Light 1 to Dying Light 2. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? My name is Omar Zaki. I've been doing parkour for 10 years now, done things like music videos, promos, commercials, and even been on national television. And today, we are reacting to Dying Light 2 parkour scenes. Hi guys, I'm Sydney Olson. I'm a professional parkour and freerunning athlete and stuntwoman and actress. And today, we are gonna be reviewing some parkour scenes from Dying Light 2. We did Dying Light 1 together, reacting to those, and we weren't super impressed with the parkour in it, so hopefully this one has some more impressive parkour. Yes. Let's get started. There's a lot of them down there. All right, here we are. We are really high up, and there's a lot of zombies down there. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Yeah, like Sydney said, we weren't super impressed with the Dying Light oh, 1 parkour, so we're uh, anxious to see what has changed. I don't know, maybe they ch like, fix the camera angle and you'll be able to actually see their feet. Who or knows? actually do more moves, or like a parkour roll once yeah. in a while. Well, so far, no. Same yeah. landing animation. Hey, he put his hand yeah, down! Yeah, you That's did, good! You did a superhero land. Good. That's much better than the last one. He <laughs> actually used his hands to help catch him on the fall, which is what you're supposed Supposed to do. Yeah, exactly. It's a little unrealistic. That would hurt your knees a lot. Run! Hold on, Frank. Okay, let's chase the truck and see what consequences that brings. This does look really nice. Yeah, it does. I'm especially looking at the reflections in like the windows, and there was a puddle of water on the ground. Oh, that was sick. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. This is definitely a big improvement from the first game. I think the jump animation might still be the same. It looks honestly the same, but he did grab the rope, which was nice. That was a new addition from the previous game that I don't think we saw. I would love to try that challenge. You can change by your actions and decisions. Oh, yay! Yeah. We're actually getting the hands involved. That's oh, yeah. great. All right, that jump was a little ridiculous. Oh, I thought he was just immediately going to go and jump off. Right, to some garbage. To some garbage, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. A lot of birds, a lot of birds. It's kind of weird. It's going to zip line into some action or something. I don't know. Cutscenes are rough sometimes to sit through. How do you know? You don't play video games. <laughs> hey, I watched them. I've watched people play them. <laughs> like being there and like playing yourself, just not right. as skilled. I like this little like distance calculator thing that this guy has. Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh, is okay. that a rope? That was, that no, was... it came out of nowhere. Oh, again, God. I think. Like, Wait, yeah. what? What I is going? Are you flying? No, oh, he's... it's like a hang glider, I think. Yeah, he's got something like that. He just jumped and then did it. I'm not sure why he doesn't like set it up and then jump. Okay, hey, he did a roll. Thank you so much. Yes. They heard our comments from last video. <laughs> if I ever make a parkour video game, I'm gonna be a big stickler on making people roll <laughs> and change their <laughs> game. The change. Obviously not. That is a great addition. Still got the drop kick though. Can't get rid yeah. of the drop kick. I like that he jumped and landed on that rail. That's like, that's something that we would do a lot, but not, you know, necessarily that high up, but it's realistic to parkour. That was cool. That little, the sidewall run he just did. Yeah. I am still seeing a lot of jumps where he's making jumps that are too high. He shouldn't actually be making them. He shouldn't be able to get his feet up onto certain platforms. That was good. That was mm -hmm. good. But the thing is, though, that this, was accurate. Is it still weird because, like, when you're jumping and stuff, you would still be looking to where your feet are going, like especially on something that thin. Absolutely. You know, you wouldn't be that looking was, up in front. I think the guy just tackled a zombie <laughs> uh, two stories down. That's awesome. I think he's trying to get to this truck. Oh, oh. please roll! Yay! Yeah. Yeah, see, that's roll. realistic. That, it's funny because as soon as you add a roll in and a slide, all of it gets more realistic. That was sweet. That was that was a really nice last shade. So a last shade is going to be where you grab usually a bar and swing off of it to something else, whether it's to the ground or to another bar. I feel like they added a lot more into it. See, I like these like wall runs. That was that sweet. Doing. That was kind of like Titanfall. Have yeah. you heard of the game Titanfall? That's They've got some really, really cool like parkour-esque movements in Titanfall. I didn't know. Titanfall. Yeah, I'd have to see it. I like these, yeah, these jumps and like swinging with the rope and stuff. Yeah. Because I would just be so um, hey, and they fell through broken uh, materials, which is very accurate. Oh if my you're... gosh, she's falling again. Oh, and then hangs on there. That's cool. Yeah, this is good. This, yep, very realistic. If you don't yeah. check your surroundings, they might break. That's so true. Oh gosh, he's surrounded now. I wonder if, how many drop kicks he's gonna do. Actually, 
she's got a weapon. That's nice. Ooh, I like that. Fun. Yeah, the climb ups look good. They they seem a little fast, but yeah. that's alright. Oh, that was cool. They'll kind of grab the zombie's leg mm -hmm. as he slid under. Yeah. What I still wish we could see more of is more of the feet as he's doing these things because you can't appreciate them jumping to a railing in the middle of nowhere if you're looking straight forward. You need yeah. to see the feet. You need to see the feet accurately and precisely hitting that rail. Now it's impressive. Yeah, and it's just realistic too because that's where you look when you do a yeah. precision like that. So. so, you know, this person probably could control the camera and just tilt the camera down. So it's not necessarily the game's fault. Maybe just whoever was playing and recording this stuff. It's kind of weird because when he does the jump, obviously he's looking forward, which again, you would never do. You would jump and like, you'd be kind of looking at where you're putting your feet. Even in a video game, how do you know like how far to actually jump if you're not looking at like where you're landing? Yeah, exactly. So like weird. in a third person game, you would see your whole body and you would see exactly how you need to adjust your jump in order to land precisely on something. But in this first person, like just kind of hoping that you land on it without actually ever seeing your feet. Yeah, and I guess that's the interesting thing about parkour too, is that like you can have the ability to judge that with your mind and then have your body execute that yeah, perfectly. Yeah. And it's so precise, it's amazing. Grab the leg! Oh, it's not even a leg he grabbed like the thing to pull that down so that he can oh because that was holding up the gate that was I cool i think that's someone's femur oh <laughs> <laughs> well, that's even better <laughs> that kind of looks like a femur i don't know <laughs> maybe it is uh, i don't know if it's a femur that would be awesome if he was just beating himself <laughs> with it grab another one if you yeah yeah out, you exactly know? like this little purple light that they keep flashing people with these climb ups look good the climb, yeah. up, the climb ups look good yeah they look pretty realistic actually this is cool this looks like that uh that that location the um the abandoned mall yeah yeah <laughs> it's a very what is it called infamous Spot. location yeah, yeah 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 don't do parkour with people hanging on your legs or do it that's cool this is, this is like, like kryptonite or something <laughs> they're all superman zombies like it's kind of weird though you see him doing like these movements really fast but then he's climbing the ladder all slow right that was a cool dino i liked how yeah, yeah 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 the climb the climbing is good the climbing is definitely mm -hmm. very good and again they do do a good job of not making this disorienting again i think it'd be very easy to make a first person game like this where there's so much dynamic movement i think it could be very easy for this to be disorienting but they do a good job of making it stable and, and clear to see what's going on and what's cool about this is that even a person who doesn't play parkour will start to have to look at the world around them like parkour playground they have to look for the ropes yeah and the so walls true. do you ever find yourself doing that you're like out to dinner and you're just looking always at, like, I could jump yeah i'm sure you and i do it constantly <laughs> yeah maybe this is giving people parkour vision which is what we uh, have we see the world as a playground I like that he slides down, that's so cool, but then he's able to save himself and yeah. then he falls again, but he seems all right. Like, it's so cool. That sequence alone, just the fact that, you know, he was falling, but he was able to save himself. Yeah, slid and then jumped at the yeah. bottom of the slide off of some platform over the gap. That was nice. I like the architecture in this game too. It's really like conducive to parkour stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Parkour would not be very exciting in a forest. It's like in a desert. <laughs> uh, he's walking across this Yeah, this looks a little thing. sketchy. And it is, yep. he just fell down. <laughs> he like, slid and then he was able to save save himself. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I guess that, that is parkour ukemi. So ukemi is a type of parkour training where it's the art of falling, where you actually practice falling and saving yourself. And parkour ukemi is like being able to save yourself in a situation where things don't go as yeah. according to plan. I don't know how many times I've had to rely on that. And it's been crazy. Like the times that I've been totally fine when I thought I would definitely get hurt. One thing I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to jump onto a moving vehicle. Cause that was cool. We just did a massive jump off that bridge on a car. I've actually done that for a job one time where oh. I had to be on top of a moving car that was going 30 miles an hour and I had to kick my legs through the window. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, from was, the roof yeah, down to the... Yeah, from the roof, yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, so that was really scary, actually. Take me to the castle. Are you nuts? Just drive. Just drive, he says. All right, they're infiltrating the encampment. Who's encampment? We don't know. You got to play the game to find out. There's like <laughs> swings and like playground. I like the, the the purple lights that they have everywhere. I like the to ward the zombies off because clearly they don't like the color purple. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, because he was holding that thing that was just purple. yeah, yeah. They're like, oh gosh. Which probably like emits some I hate some purple wavelength <laughs> thing. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, the zombies like I can't stand purple. So interestingly enough, I feel like Europe is just designed for parkour and then the US, we have to kind of make do with like different kinds of spots. Yeah. I don't know, it's the older architecture that just seems to be so much more conducive to parkour. Yeah, Sky the American skyscraper is not at all conducive to yeah. parkour. Yeah, it's gonna be older things, bricks, concrete, mm -hmm. not glass, not metal. College campuses are usually gold mines for parkour spots. So and honestly, as bad as it sounds, like handicap ramps mm -hmm. are exactly like the things that we look for as parkour 
Super Rapids because those have tiered levels, those have railings, and usually walls and cool architecture as well to go along with it. So it's not just a boring ramp in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we, we use those spots a lot for our training. Yeah, I feel like as well, when you compare Europe and the US, like you're gonna see a lot more free running athletes in the US because you have to get like super creative with the environment where you're gonna see more parkour athletes in Europe because they have that kind of architecture that's like very point A to point B, like get there yeah. quickly and stuff. And again, for those that don't know, the difference between parkour and free running is parkour is gonna be your basic movements, your fundamentals of moving, which are gonna be climbing over things, getting down from high obstacles. You start doing free running when you start adding flips and like she said, creative or mm -hmm. acrobatic movements into your parkour. So instead of jumping off a building, you're now flipping off of the building so that's when you go from parkour to free running another climbing one splinter splinter <laughs> haven that's what that is no, uh, it definitely is yeah climbing on wood is not gonna be good maybe there you would want gloves was he wearing gloves <laughs> i don't think so yeah, uh, actually i, I think it's left hand yeah <laughs> so just climb with the left hand is he gonna slide down that rope no see th this looks cool like this old like factory or something the drop kick has made it from Dying Light 1 to Dying Light 2. <laughs> like is I said, it, maybe not the most um, useful tactic. Oh, that was water. I thought that was concrete. Yeah. I was like, this guy's about to break his legs. That guy's head fell off. Did you notice that? No. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good jump. That's a tough climb up to be able to do that with no, with your feet just hanging in the air to have to do a strict muscle up almost to get yeah. into that. Especially when you don't have like a good like bar or something yeah. to grip on. Yeah. You're just holding on like here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like the lighting. This lighting is really, really cool. Okay, these are humans. Why are the humans fighting? Because I guess walking down. Because they have thing. to fight for supplies, Omar. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> I think that's usually what happens in zombie games, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, what do you think, Sydney? I thought it was super impressive, this game. It was super accurate, too. Much better. Yeah. Big step up from the previous game. Yeah, it was really interesting to see. And like I said, the only thing that I would say is that I just feel like the unrealistic side of it is not being able to actually see where you're jumping. What I really liked was that there was a lot more incorporation of actually using the hands, like grabbing things mm -hmm. or hanging on ledges a lot more. It seemed like it seemed like that was happening more often. The incorporation of the parkour role when actually taking big drops, which is absolutely necessary. Yeah, when you're so taking big drops like that. But for me, it's still, there seemed like too many times where he would go to jump from a lower ledge to a higher ledge and it looked like he should have caught with his hands, but, just, but just jumped straight up into the window and landed on I his mean, feet. I mean, don't underestimate his hops, okay? He's probably it just looked a little unnatural, you know? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but uh, all in all, all in all, that was, that was way better than the parkour in Dying Light 1, so Dying Light 2, good job. Yeah, it was great. All right, guys, that was Dying Light 2. It was super interesting to see the parkour scenes in that. I thought it was really impressive and pretty accurate. Uh, if you guys want to see more games like this, make sure you check out the Gameology's YouTube and Facebook page. I'm Sydney Olson. This is Omar Zaki. Thanks for tuning in. It's just more of like, I don't understand how you can jump to something but not see where you're landing. Like, even right. in a video game, it seems weird to me. Like, how are you yeah. supposed to judge how far to jump? Yeah, you just kind of hope <laughs> that you hit it. Yeah, it's weird. All right, guys, that was parkour scenes from Dying Light. Oh, God.